Hey friends, it's me, Pastor Doug, with another word of encouragement for the day for today, Tuesday, March 23rd. And today's word comes out of Luke chapter 19, verses 7 and 8, and in it we continue to explore encounters that Jesus had with people that drastically and radically changed and transformed their lives. Today I want to look at the story of Zacchaeus. And many of you are probably familiar with the the short little account of Zacchaeus in Luke's gospel, but Zacchaeus apparently was a a short guy, uh, and he wanted to see Jesus as Jesus was coming into the city, and so he climbed up in a tree so he could see over the crowd. But that's not all that you and I need to know about Zacchaeus. The other thing that we should know about Zacchaeus is that he was a tax collector. And let's face it, you and I aren't probably big fans of the IRS, even in our day, but in those days, the Jewish people hated the tax collectors because the tax collectors were Jews who had basically become traitors and were collecting taxes on behalf of the hated Roman Empire. And so Zacchaeus would not have been a popular guy. Not only was he complicit with the the hated Roman Empire, but also most tax collectors added their own extra fees on top of the taxes that they were collecting. So not only was Zacchaeus likely taking you know, money from people to give to Rome as taxes, but also he was probably taking some money for himself as well. And so again, nobody liked Zacchaeus. He was not a popular guy. And what we see here is Zacchaeus is up in the tree. Jesus comes into town. Jesus stops underneath the tree, looks up at Zacchaeus and says, Zacchaeus, today I want to come and eat with you in your home. And that was revolutionary because to come into someone's home, to eat with someone was to see them as a peer, was to affirm them, was to acknowledge them, was to assign them equal value with yourself. So for a Jewish rabbi to assign this kind of value to a tax collector just blew everybody away. In fact, it even blew Zacchaeus away. And and this encounter with Jesus so transforms Zacchaeus's heart that this is what happens next. In verse seven, all the people that see Jesus inviting himself into Zacchaeus's home and treating him as an equal, they began to mutter. They say, Jesus, he's gone into the guest, uh, he's gone to be the guest of a sinner, right? And then, listen to to Zacchaeus, he says, but Zacchaeus stood up and he said to the Lord, not to them, not to everybody else, not to prove anything to everybody else, but said it to Jesus. He said, look, Lord, here and now I give half my possessions to the poor. And if I have cheated anybody out of anything, I will pay back four times the amount. Think about this. This guy is going to give away half of what he owns. Think about everything that you own, all your assets, all your cash. Maybe you've got some uh, a savings account. Maybe you've got a retirement account. Maybe you've got a house. Maybe you've got some other things. Think of half of that, giving it all away to the poor. And then on top of that, looking around at anybody else that you've ever cheated and giving them four times the amount of what you cheated them. That's how drastically Zacchaeus' life was transformed by this encounter with Jesus. So here's my question to you. How has you how has your life been transformed by encountering Jesus? As you have gotten to know Jesus, as you have accepted his free gift of salvation, how has that changed you? How has that transformed you? And here's the second question, has it made you a more generous person? Has your encounter with Jesus for the last year, 10 years, 20 years resulted in you becoming a more generous person? It did for Zacchaeus. Maybe it should for us. Friends, have a great day and we'll see you tomorrow.